The people of Venezuela woke to calm after an electoral storm that has profoundly changed this oil-rich nation. And it's precisely changed that many in this poor neighborhood of western Caracas say they are betting on. With the National Assembly in the hands of the opposition, if Chávez was still in power, things wouldn't have deteriorated like this. I don't have running water in my house, no money for food, all for clothes for the children. 24 hours after the poll, the Electoral Council had still not confirmed the final tally. But an impatient opposition announced it had won a stunning two-thirds majority in the legislature. The wave of anger expressed against the government at the poll has been like a political tsunami. But now people here are telling us that the real issue is how all this will impact their daily lives. And what will it take? to revert this country's economic meltdown. Newly elected opposition deputies say the economy and an amnesty for jailed politicians whom they regard as political prisoners will be their first priorities when the new assembly convenes on January the 5th. The disaster these people have created is such that we have to start working right now on the agenda that we will present to the nation. But whatever their plans, they will meet resistance. President Nicolás Maduro insists that what he calls the counter-revolution has only won a temporary battle. Back in this rubbish-infested neighborhood, people are more interested in the pace of economic recovery. We all know Venezuela is dependent on oil and that the price is still dropping. Nevertheless, he says giving the opposition a vote of confidence is at least a start. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.